Hi, I'm Mario and I'm a RIV trainer from Bolivia. I will guide you through this tutorial about performing an incremental and sensitivity analysis in RIV20. Creating an incremental analysis will allow you to compare two different scenarios, the business as usual and the WITH project, to see if the additional investments are worthwhile or if it's better off continuing with the business as usual. Let's visit Edwin again, who wants to establish a piglet's fattening production. Currently, Edwin is producing maize in one hectare of land, and he wants to use his barn to start the piglet's fattening production. Once you allow the incremental analysis, you will see that the software distinguishes the two scenarios within the cost section. All the information on the piglet's fattening business with project scenario will be on the With Project tab. See previous tutorials. Now, you will have to insert the information about the continuation of the current situation in the Without Project tab. For the Investments Cost section, you will have to evaluate the current value of the investment assets that the farmer already has. For example, Edwin has a tractor which he bought 10 years ago. You will enter all the required information about it and the software will calculate its current value. For the general and fixed costs, Edwin pays a worker who works along him every day. Finally, you will create one block for the maize production with one hectare of land. Once you have inserted all the information needed, you will obtain the three profitability indicators for this scenario. The without project scenario, where you will see how the situation is likely to continue if Edwin remains producing maize. The with project scenario, where we will see the expected performance of the piglet's fattening business if it were to receive the additional investment envisaged by Edwin. And finally, it also provides the comparison of the added value of the project for the piglet's fattening production and the scenario of continuing with maize. This last comparison is the incremental scenario. If you have a positive incremental scenario, it means that investing in the with project scenario will bring more benefits than staying with the business as usual. However, if you have a negative incremental scenario, then it means that continuing with the business as usual is a better option. Either way, the financial indicators are shown in the report in an easy way to analyse the results for the different scenarios. With the incremental analysis, the entrepreneur could see if it is more feasible to continue his or her business as usual compared to a scenario where he invests on new assets. With RIV20, you can also perform a sensitivity analysis. This means you can run what-if scenarios to analyse if the business will still be profitable given certain conditions or circumstances. In the sensitivity analysis section, you can observe the impact of the variation of prices in the business. For example, let's see Anna's case. If a plague or unexpected storms were to happen and affect the strawberries production, the prices per kilo will most probably increase. You can modify the input cost to see how much this could affect Anna's business and what would be the business resistance. Alternatively, if there is too much competitivity in the area, she might have to lower the price of the jam jar. You could see what the lower price Anna's business could resist is. You can see the impacts on the cash flow, the profitability and the indicators. With the sensitivity analysis, Anna or Edwin can model pessimistic and optimistic scenarios, playing with various data from the business plan to see which are the most sensitive for their businesses.